The man. Sorry, can we do this later? If you're such a busy man. What are you doing, Miss Jones? Um. I'm having a baby, Miss. Oh, right here. Right now, the cheek on you, girl. Why? Because I don't take your bullying? Uh, if it's you, excuse me? Then I'll take your nonsense. Until then, shut up. You better watch yourself, girl. Oh, I will. So you glad to be back? One big happy family again. Ah, uh, there he is! England's finest! <laughs> don't irritate me, boy. The truth hurts, don't it? Howdy do, Arthur! <laughs> there he is. Just leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're I posted pathetic that letter man, for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. How's it all go? Come on now, Pearson. I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. I've lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Ah, uh, don't worry about them, okay? Marston? Yeah? That scar healed pretty well in the end? I'm stuck with it now. Anyway, I know I've ribbed you about that enough. Whatever.
Hey, Sean. How you doing, old friend? Fine. <coughs> it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Coming through. Okay, go. Yep. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, it feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought. Especially both of you. Huh? Especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Drug in. Well, well, I look who it is. Myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was a cute... 